Hello. Good morning. Got my pomegranate tea with my lemon lime lift off. Mm. So good. What are you guys sipping on this morning? Let me know. I want to see. All right, you guys. Today, on our top eight at eight, we're going to talk about eight ways to connect more fully with others and with the world around you. I think connection is huge right now in this um, isolation world that we find ourselves in of COVID. So let's talk about how to connect fully with others. Um, I looked up several articles for this. So I was following along with um, a website called Lifehack, one called Our Goodwin Journey, and another called Psychology Today. So that's where I got my info from for this. Yeah. Um, and also, if you want to connect fully with me and your health and wellness journey, be sure to go to rootdownwellbeing.com. Fill out that free wellness profile and we'll get started. Okay? All right. So let's get started with this. Eight ways to connect more fully with others and with the world around you. Number eight is to invest the time. If you don't take the time, it's never gonna happen, right? Um, real connection takes time. Um, sometimes it's evaluating where you are in life a little bit. So it's time to stop hiding. Um, move past kind of the, the baby friendship into like a deep friendship, right? Have a real conversation. Invest the time with them. Um, there's no fast track, you know, to connecting with somebody. Um, yeah. And it needs to be quality time. It's always, you know, it's not the amount of time spent, um, but it is quality time. So if you can connect with somebody once a week, that's awesome. Make it quality, right? Um, so make space in your calendar. Yeah. It takes time. Okay, number seven is to get into nature. So we're talking about connecting with others and connecting with the world around us. If you spend some time in nature, you're going to connect with the world. On top of that, because your connection kind of deepens with the ground, with the earth, with the, you know, with the air, with the water, with all of the elements, right? Because your connection is deepening with them you're going to naturally find deeper connections within others. It's just how it works. So start looking around. Even if it's on your commute to work, look around at the trees for a second as you're driving. Look around at the snow today. Yeah? Um, you know, go outside. Touch the snow. Touch a tree. If you're in a nice location, I'm jealous, and touch the sand, right? Put the sand beneath your feet. Put the grass beneath your feet. Feel it. You usually feel a lot more grounded when you're connecting with anything outside. Okay? So allowing that connection, like I said, can allow you to connect with other humans more deeply too. All right, number six is to learn how your friends like to communicate. Um, with a health and wellness business, I often find out how people like to communicate and I try to communicate with them in that way. And some people prefer text messages. Some people prefer a phone call. What? I know. Some people prefer Facebook or Instagram um, messages, DMs. So it just kind of depends. Um, and then there's other people too that like things um, like Zoom conference calls. They like Skype. Um, they like, what else? Um, like Slack or Voxer. Those types of apps, right? So it just kind of depends. Um, so have you ever asked your friend or your family member how they like to communicate? Like, would they prefer a text message? Or is that just you texting them because that's what you prefer? I mean, it's a little give and take, right? It can work both ways. But um, yeah, see what they enjoy doing. Snapchat, there's another big one I just thought of. Some people love communicating by Snapchat. Granted, a lot of Snapchat is just like, here's a picture of my, you know, I don't know no spray I don't know <laughs> here's a picture of like something random um, at least for little kids I've noticed like not even little teenagers they just take a photo of the weirdest thing and send it to their friends and like that's the cool thing to do 
that's beyond me. But, hey, they're communicating. They're laughing. They're having fun with each other. Great. Anyway, you might have to learn something new. You might have to go back to something old to see a deeper connection with a friend. Maybe that means learning a new app on your phone. There that is. All right, number five is to be courageous. It's a little scary, right, letting yourself be seen. It's a little scary being vulnerable with people. Um, so most connections take a little bit of courage. It means being real. It means letting other people into your life. Yeah. Um, talking, sharing, opening your heart. It all takes courage. Absolutely. Um, be brave. Jump in. Walk through the door of friendship. I love that. That's cute. All right, so be courageous is number five. Number four is to connect in person as often as possible. Now, in this day and age, sometimes can be a little bit of a problem, right? Um, but when um, kind of when we were, I don't know, probably this summer, it was July, maybe August, we would connect um, with my entire family once a week on Zoom, and we would all get on. And it's just like every commercial and every, you know, Saturday Night Live spoof that you ever see on it, where everybody's trying to talk at once, and it's like just all this random stuff, and then all of a sudden 40 minutes is gone, and you're like, what just happened? Like, you know, but it's it was so fun to see their faces, to hear their voices. Um, I've actually had people comment like, oh my God, I miss hearing your voice, because I haven't seen them in for freaking ever. And that's awesome that, you know, I was able to have a connection with people just by going live, you know, and they can finally hear my voice, which they haven't heard again for a long time because I haven't seen them. Um, so anyway, connect in person as often as you can or whatever alternatives there are, um, but hear people's voices, see their faces. It, it helps so much. Um, you know, nothing really beats hanging out with somebody in person. So yeah, connect in person. Number three is to drop your ego. Don't pretend that you know everything. You don't know everything. You are human. Nobody knows everything. So drop that ego. Um, usually when we're talking with other people, we wanna show that we're educated, that we're knowledgeable. Um, and it can be really hard for some people to admit that they're learning something new for the first time. Their pride, their ego gets involved, right? Um, there's a lot of leaders in the corporate world and in business settings that have a hard time with taking advice. Um, they feel they should know everything. They feel they should know more than their employees. Um, and that's just beyond me. That's insane. Um, it's hard to expose their personal weaknesses. They've built themselves on being like this strong person that knows things. That that's how they got to the top. It's like other people know things. Like, listen to, just listen to other people. Um, I don't care if they're an expert in a field or not. Most of the time when I meet somebody that's very, very educated, they're not um, very personable, right? That's great. They have all this book knowledge, but they, they don't have the other types of knowledge that I seek, usually. So it, it, it just kind of depends, right? But don't pretend that you know everything. So be aware of your ego. Work on preventing that um, from controlling how you behave. And just be willing to learn from others and take advice. Doing that is going to help you connect with others. Yeah. Okay, so that was number three. Number two on our top eight ways to connect fully with others and with the world around you is to take time to be healthy and whole. Um, if you're allowing others in, you're being courageous enough to make real connections. You want to be healthy and ready for those friendships. Um, having like a new friend can feel really weird and really, I don't know, junior high <laughs> when you're in your 30s and 40s. Um, like a year, a little over a year ago, um, I found one of my favorite people in the world in a yoga studio. 
Um, we were doing 40 Days to Personal Revolution and I was crying in front of people and she stood up and she gave me a hug and she like gave me her number and she was like, I hope this isn't weird. And it was like, it was perfect, but it was a little weird, right? Because we were like, I want to be your friend. <laughs> so it's really, it's a very strange thing. Um, but again, being courageous and just that willingness to connect with somebody really goes a long way. Um, so anyway, that's kind of a segue, but um, friendships can be hard because two imperfect people, right, are trying to build a connection with each other. So taking the time to invest in yourself and be the best version of yourself can help to connect with others because you feel good inside. You feel whole and complete, which you are all the time. I know sometimes we don't feel that way, but you are always um, complete. You're never broken. You can't be fixed. You are whole exactly as you are. You can work on things. Um, but anyway, if you feel that way, that's when you're going to bring your best self to others. Um, and that's how you can help deepen the connections. So yeah, number one is to not hide the real you. Be you. Be that vulnerable, perfect self of yours. Okay? Again, meaning you are exactly great, exactly as you are. Um, so again, you might have to be brave, courageous, get out there make a friend, um, you might still be tempted to hide behind everything, and that's okay. Let glimpses of your, your real self be shown. Um, yeah, a lot of us uh, put that mask on a lot of the time. It is hard. It really is hard to share that person, to share exactly who you are inside. Um, but be willing. Just be willing and give it a try. Find somebody that you know, love, and trust and just try letting your real self show. Um, I can't remember what movie it's from, but they're like, let your freak flag fly. Let your freak flag fly. Like, just be you. Look at it. I got this crazy hair going. I'm not sure what's happening here. I got this pajama sweatshirt on. Dom's old uh, skateboard sweatshirt. I love it. I don't know. This is me, guys. So I want you to be you too, because I want to get to know the real you. So does everybody else, because you're absolutely awesome. So anyway, those are my top eight ways to connect more fully with others and with the world around you. Um, I hope it helped. And again, I want to connect with you personally and on your nutrition. So let's get started. Go to writdownwellbeing.com, fill out the free wellness profile, and I will see you tomorrow. Friday. Okay. Bye, everyone. Love you.